Okay, I want to review uh, differences between tornadoes uh, and hurricanes. So I have listed up here some of the main differences uh, between the tornadoes and hurricanes um, that we've talked about. Make sure you review that article that uh, we read toward the beginning. Uh, and I had you guys fill out a, a concept map, and those, so those have uh, a lot more than what I have up here, but these are some of the main uh, differences that we see between tornadoes and hurricanes. I'm going to start with tornadoes. Okay, so tornadoes um, have some of the most powerful winds that we see on Earth, and, and so they can have winds up to uh, 320 miles per hour, um, or sometimes maybe even higher than that. Um, but, uh, so they have wind speeds that are definitely faster than hurricanes. Uh, they travel uh, at speeds of up to 62 miles an hour. So what that means is like traveling across the land, um, they can travel very fast. 62 miles an hour would be like you driving a car down a, down a highway. So they can be uh, move very fast across the land. Um, some of them, however, move very slow. So not all of them move that fast. Some of them move very slow. Um, which is what the Joplin tornado did. It moved fairly slow and caused a lot of damage. Okay. Um, we talked about tornadoes are measured using the enhanced Fujita scale. And uh, we, we often refer to a tornado as like an F1 or F2. And so that comes from the um, Fujita scale. And so now it would be uh, like an EF1 or an EF2. EF5 tornadoes would be um, the biggest tornadoes and the most, uh, uh, with the highest wind speeds and kind of the most deadly. Um, and then tornadoes occur most often in what we call Tornado Alley, which happens to be this uh, middle part of the United States where we live in. We live in Tornado Alley. But um, it occurs there because um, this is where we most often get uh, cold air and warm air colliding. So we get cold air coming down from Canada, uh, warm moist air from the Gulf coming up, and they kind of um, hit each other in uh, this middle part of the United States called Tornado Alley. Hurricanes. Hurricanes um, are, are very different than tornadoes. Um, they're similar in that they're both, uh, they uh, both have a vortex, okay? The hurricanes are much, much bigger, much wider. They can be as big as a state, whereas um, tornadoes can be um, uh, like a mile wide, and if it's like a mile wide, that's a gigantic tornado. Whereas um, hurricanes can be, you know, like as big as the state of Texas. So wind speeds of hurricanes, though, are fairly um, slower than, than tornadoes. They, they still have very high wind speeds, up to 155 miles per hour. Um, they travel a lot slower because they're so much bigger than hurricane or than tornadoes. They travel a lot slower, um, so like 5 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, they are measured using uh, what we call the Saffir-Simpson scale. And that's broken into categories, category one through five. Category five being the, the um, biggest, the one with the most, the highest wind speeds. And then uh, hurricanes form uh, over tropical waters. So uh, we have to have lots of warm water evaporating into the air. And it makes these huge clouds um, over tropical waters. And then Earth's rotation actually starts uh, those clouds spinning. It starts uh, them in the spinning motion. And uh, so in order for a hurricane to form, though, it needs to have lots of warm water that gives it its, its energy. And once a hurricane kind of moves over the land, it loses its energy fairly quickly. Okay, again, make sure you look over your articles um, and, and review um, some more. But that's a quick review on hurricanes and